Okay, uh, I've got two uh, factors questions here. Okay, uh, as we saw in the last, uh, you can mix factors with all sorts of things. You've got like dot scalar product, you've got momentum, you've got F equals MA, okay, as well as integrate and differentiate uh, to get between displacement or position, velocity and acceleration. So you've got these two questions. Uh, so part A here, we've got an expression for the position vector, so kind of like displacement. Uh, and the first question is asking us to find the velocity, so we're going to need to differentiate uh, that first expression there. So we're doing dx by dt. Uh, and as long as you know uh, your, what your trig ones go to, so like sine goes to cos and so on, this isn't too bad. So we get uh, 3 cos t. Okay, sine stays the same when you go from sine to cos. Then we've got a change of sign, so it's minus originally. My, uh, minus cos will go to plus sine. Obviously, that 2 pops out as well and multiplies. So you get an 8 sine 2t. Uh, so that was the i direction. This is the j direction. And then we've got uh, sine going to cos again. So no change of sign. It just goes very simply to 5 cos t in the k direction. Okay. Um, then we've got to find when it's at rest. So we've got two functions going on here. We've got cos t and we've got sine 2t. For it to be at rest, both of those need to come out as zero so that the i, the j, and the k part of the, of the vector are all zero. So we're looking for um, a time, we're getting radians in this question, they often are in vectors, looking for a time where cos 2t equals zero, sorry, cos t equals zero, and we need sine 2t to equal zero. Okay, you just need to be familiar with your trig graphs here. So for cos 2t, um, you get uh, cos t equals 0, you get times like pi by 2, okay? Um, you would get 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, and the pattern just keeps going like that. For sine 2t equals 0, you get t equals 0, but the sine graph starts from 0. Then you get pi by 2, and you get pi, all right? And what you'll find then is if you list a couple that the time when they are both equal to zero is when the time is pi by two. For part B then, we've got to find the momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity, so it's just multiplying everything through by the mass, which was three, okay? So if we put that down here, so B, momentum equals M, V, B is a vector, M is just a 3, so you get 9 cos T in the I direction, you get plus 24 sine 2T in the J direction, I'm going to squeeze it in here hopefully, 15 cos T in the K direction, so that's nice and straightforward. And then part C, it's asking us to find the force, okay, the only way you're going to get force is by doing F equals MA. We don't have an expression for the acceleration yet, but if we go back to up here where we had the velocity and we differentiate again, okay, so let's move the board down. We get, let's have a look. So part C, A is dV by dt, and that gives us, now be careful here because you've got some signs changing, so cos going back to minus sine, so minus 3 sine t in the i direction. We've got sine going to cos and another 2 popping out in front. So we've got 16 cos 2t in the j direction. And then we've got cos going to minus sine. So there is a change of sine here. We'll go to minus to minus 5 sine t in the k direction. That's a F equals MA, all right, M for this question was three, so we've just got to multiply all of that through by three now then, so F equals minus nine, sine T in the I direction, 48 cos 2T in the J direction, and minus 15 sine T in the K direction, and that question there is finished. I'll do one more in this video and then I'll make a separate one. So the next question we've got, um, we're starting with a velocity vector this time. 
And we've been given some extra information at the top. So it says when the time is zero, the position vector is 2i plus 7j. The only reason they would be telling us that is that so we can work out our constants after we've integrated. Okay, so that's going to be our first job, actually. We've got the velocity, we want the position vector, so to get x or s or whatever you want to call it, we need to integrate v with respect to t. And then that's going to give us, so 13t becomes 13t squared over 2. 3 becomes 3t plus uh, a constant in the i direction. And then we've got in the j direction, uh, 2 becomes 2t. 3t squared becomes 3t cubed over 3, so that's just t cubed. A different constant, remember, they are different in the i and uh, j directions. So plus c and then plus k in the j direction. Then we're told, we'll go back to the beginning, we know that when t is naught, that we've got 2i plus 7j. Uh, so that first chunk here, all of this, that needs to come out as 2. Okay. And all of that second lot there needs to come out as 7 when we sub in t equals 0, which makes it very straightforward, actually. 13t squared goes to 0. 3t goes to 0. That must mean that c is 2. And then for the j direction, 2t goes to 0. t cubed goes to 0. Must mean that k is 7. All right. And then we can rewrite our expression now fully. So 13 t squared over 2 minus 3t plus 2 in the i direction. And then we've got 2t plus t cubed plus 7 in the j direction. That's your first five marks. Okay, Just integrate, find your constants, and go back and rewrite it fully. Part b, we've got to find the acceleration. So go back to your velocity vector, and this time we need to differentiate. Okay, so that's going to be straightforward now. So part B, uh, A is dv by dt, and that just very, very simply comes out as 13 in the i direction and plus 6t in the j direction. Uh, part C then, uh, it wants the velocity vector to be perpendicular to i minus 2j. Now remember the definition of perpendicular when you're talking about vectors is that the uh, dot product, the scalar product, comes out as zero. So our vector v, when we do the dot product, then we've got i, now remember that's a 1i there, minus 2j has got to be zero. So uh, if we take 13t minus 3, and then we times it by the 1 from here, okay, so that just gets one of those. And then we'll take the 2t uh, plus 3t squared from our original uh, vector. And we've got to times that by minus 2. Okay. What you'll end up with there, a bit of tidying up, you'll get minus 6t squared plus 13t minus 7 equals 0. You can factorise that, you can check it into your calculators, you need two solutions. T is 1 and T is 7 over 6. And that's that question fully done as well.